Another scorching day in Paris saw orders for Embraer, ATR and de Havilland, while Airbus scooped wide bodies and freighters. Here's your day 3 roundup. JSX, the US semi-private airline, is taking off in regional turboprops, ordering its first ATRs. Starting later this year, they'll deploy two ATR-42s with premium cabins, signaling new momentum in US regional connectivity. Freighters are flying off the shelves. Airbus sold two A350Fs to MNG Airlines, and Egypt Air added six more A350 to 900S, upping its total to 16 wide-body jets. Embraer was prolific on day three. Airlink placed 10 xe 195 e 2s Lithuania selected the C390 Millennium for its future transport fleet. A launch operator joined the new E190F freighter program. And SkyWest inked a deal for up to 110 more E175s, with 60 firm now. Sustainable flight is on the move. Eve Air Mobility secured an order for 54 EVTOLs, covering US-Brazil operations. The USA launched a global roadmap for electric air taxi certification, led by the FAA and including Australia, Canada, UK, and New Zealand, targeting July 2027 completion. And RTX unveiled new sustainable aviation and propulsion tech deals, spotlighting green engine breakthroughs. In regional and business aviation, de Havilland Canada secured a Twin Otter Classic 300G order from the US Air Force. And Aura Aero confirmed orders from five customers, bringing its backlog to 650 aircraft. Closing out day three, Starlux Airlines boosted its long-haul ambitions with 10 Airbus A350-1000s, marking a significant expansion in their premium wide-body fleet. That's a wrap on day three at Paris Air Show. Stay with aerospaceglobalnews.com for deeper analysis and live coverage. Subscribe for daily aerospace updates.